Outlander actors to step out in style at Glasgow Kilt Walk. Actors from the TV phenomenon Outlander will be walking Glasgow Kilt Walk this weekend with fundraisers from British Heart Foundation, BHF, Scotland. They'll hike the 23-mile mighty stride in full, historic Highland regalia to raise funds for pioneering cardiovascular research which is being funded by BHF all over Scotland, including at its Centre of Research Excellence in Glasgow. Actor Andrew McAlinden said, We're all doing it for people who have experienced heart problems. I'm doing it in memory of my dad Paddy, who died 10 years ago. Nicola Jo Cully is doing it in memory of her papa, Ronald Hudson, who passed away two years ago. And Grant McGregor is doing it in memory of his uncle, Andrew Vardy, who passed away last year. I think walking in 18th century kilt outfit will look awesome and taking part in the kilt walk is maybe a nod to our ancestors too, who would have walked very long distances marching to battle in full regalia. We're all very excited and feel very proud to be part of the Glasgow Kilt Walk again this year. On Sunday, the Kilt Walk will take one giant leap towards becoming Scotland's largest charity mass participation event. Last year, 7,300 walkers at the Glasgow event raised a total of £1.4 million, including a 40% top-up by Sir Tom Hunter, helping nearly 400 charities. However, just as boots are made for walking, records are made to be broken and this year's Glasgow Kilt Walk is all set to do just that. With more than 10,000 people signed up, the charity total for this year's event is poised to break the £2 million mark. This is thanks in part to the unique fundraising boost by Sir Tom Hunter and the Hunter Foundation, which adds a 40% top-up to all funds raised by walkers. This year's Glasgow Royal Bank of Scotland Kilt Walk with Arnold Clark is set to be a star-studded affair with rugby legend Dottie Weir. Commonwealth Games boxing champion Charlie Flynn and STV weatherman Sean Batty releasing the first wave of walkers from Glasgow Green at 9 a.m., Kilt Walk CEO, Paul Cooney, said, We've gone from 4,000 walkers two years ago to more than 10,000 walkers on Sunday and this is going to have a hugely positive impact for Scotland's charities. I'm so proud of our staff and volunteer kilties who put in a tremendous amount to make this happen. And we couldn't achieve this without the support of nearly 600 charities and our amazing sponsors who have been with us every step of the way as the event has grown. However, our biggest debt of gratitude is to the kilt walkers themselves. Their efforts over whatever distance they tackle, 23 miles or 15 or socks miles, will make such a difference for people in the west of Scotland who most need their help, showcasing one of many tremendous causes being supported. Toddler Lily O'Donnell and Mother Cheryl who are raising funds for Wish on Neonatal Unit and walking in memory of Lily's twin brother Lachlan born at just 25 weeks, will lead off the mighty stride. Paul added, the event itself is incredibly special as people from across Glasgow, the West and beyond come together for a variety of different reasons with one common goal, to make a difference. And that's what makes the Kilt Walk unique. To sign up for the Glasgow Royal Bank of Scotland Kilt Walk this Sunday, visit the Kilt Walk Co. UK.